Hey guys, welcome to the 129th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our paint application. So in the previous tutorial, when we left off, um, our line wasn't exactly a line. So if we just select the size here and start drawing, it's all dotted because it basically just draws a circle every time we move our mouse. So when we move our mouse very rapidly, it's, it's not really a line anymore. So instead of having it draw circles every time it, we have it move the mouse, we're basically just going to have it connect or draw a line from the previous position that the mouse was at to the current position that the mouse is at, so it'll be smooth. So we're not going to be using the solid brush anymore, or a brush at all for that matter. We're going to be using the pen. So we're just going to say pen. I'll say it, I'll call it a pen and set it equal to a new pen. And just like before, we're going to have to select a color. I'll just make a color dot black doesn't really matter what color you use and so that the user will be able to choose um, what position that they want it to be we're going to do convert dot to float so we're going to do float dot parse text box you know, tool strip text box one dot text and float.parse will basically just convert the text into a float since it calls for a float right in there. So now the user can choose how thick the pen will be. Alright, so like I said before, we're just going to be connecting um, the previous position that the mouse was at to the current position that the mouse was at. So we're just going to draw a line. So we're going to say g for our graphics dot draw a line. And our pen will just be the pen that we just created. And for the previous point, we're going to have to create integers. There's no predefined uh, properties for the previous position that the mouse is at. So we're just going to create an integer up here. I'll say previous x equals 0 and previous y equals 0 as well. So we're just going to be using these to set as the previous value. So we're just going to say new point equals previous x and then previous y and then the second point will be the current position so it'll just connect a line from the previous position that the mouse was at to the current position so we'll do new point e dot x for the current um, x coordinate of our cursor and e dot y for the current um, y coordinate of our cursor and then after it draws this line we're going to set previous x equal to the current x position and previous y equal to the current y position. So that t that way the next time that the user moves their mouse, um, the previous x and previous y will actually be the previous um, positions of the cursor. So we're just going to say previous x equals e dot x and previous y equals e dot y. And again, e just is these mouse event arguments up here and they just store information about the event. So now this should work fine. So when we um, select a, visit or a size for our mouse, I'll just click one, one pixel, and then we draw. Yeah, it works fine. It's a very nice, smooth uh, pen. However, there are a few problems. To start off, it always starts at zero, zero. And that's because we automatically set um, previous x and previous y equal to zero. And the second problem is when we try to draw a line um, where a previous line was, like it'll disconnect the beginning of this to where the previous line left off. And that's because we never reset the previous position of x and the previous position of y. So we're just basically going to reset the previous positions of x and y. So we're going to say previous x equals 0 and previous y equals 0 as well. And this will occur when the user picks up their mouse or lets go of the mouse so they're not drawing anymore. So Oh, and just select size for our pen. So now when we try and draw, you can see it'll always start at zero, and that's a problem. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set these equal to null. And in order to do that, since these are non-nullable types, we're going to have to put a question mark after the variable type, and then we can set these equal to null. And we're basically just going to check to see if these are null. So if it's null, we can just use the uh, question mark question mark operator and say if it's null, then we want it to be equal to the current position of the cursor. So we're going to say e dot x right here. So um, the previous position of the cursor's x coordinate will be the previous position of x unless it's null, in which case it will be the current position. 
And same goes for y, so I can type this in here. So, so now what it will do is, as long as uh, the user didn't just start drawing, it'll connect the previous position of the mouse to um, the current position of the mouse. But if the user just started drawing, then previous x and previous y will be null. So it'll just start drawing um, wherever the user clicks down first. All right, and then um, when the user moves their mouse up or picks it up, so they're not drawing anymore, we're just going to set these equal to null, so we'll do the same thing. All right, so now I'm going to debug here. Select a mouse size, we'll just click one. And now we draw, we can see, yes, it just starts exactly where the user clicks down because it won't connect anything the first time that it draws. But the second time and third time and every time after that it draws, it will connect the previous position to the current position. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.